Okay, good morning everybody. We're going to get started. Thank you for joining us for our webinar, uh, doing proper data backups and recovery methods. Um, just a little uh, background or leading information here before we get started. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have seen the solutions that we're, we're going to talk about, you know, the, the common backup methods, the new backup methods and things like that. Um, we're going to cover those a little bit. Uh, we're going to talk a lot about backup concepts, um, different ways to do backups. Um, you know, different terminology you may or may not have heard, you know, maybe explain some of the, uh, uh, the different backup capabilities and uh, strategies that you can do with your existing solution or new solutions that you may have not known about. So um, on that note, let's uh, get started with our presentation. So just looking at some figures to start off. Um, there's a, a lot of information about backups out there, and a lot of what we're going to talk about today is, you know, how frequently uh, data is lost, how how bad data loss is, uh, quite honestly. Um, so some stats are 93% of companies that lost their data for 10 days or more, 50% um, immediately filed for bankruptcy, and other 50% after about a year. So um, big disasters can uh, can definitely cost the business everything. 20% uh, of small to medium businesses uh, were going to suffer a loss every five years. And that's a you know, pretty accurate stat. We've seen that uh, happen here as well. Um, this year, about 40% of businesses that are going to manage their own network um, are going to be accessed by a hacker, and 50% and more aren't even going to know it. And why is that important, or what's that have to do with backups? Well, um, you know, a lot of that uh, malicious stuff going on out there is targeted just at data loss and data corruption. And about 70% of businesses have experienced or will experience um, data loss from accidental deletion or hard drive failure, viruses, you name it. So some of the common causes for uh, data loss are, you know, man-made disasters and natural disasters. And of course, you know, things can happen in the building. There can be, uh, you know, fires, big storms, hurricanes, um, floods, power problems. Um, whether even if it's not a, uh, a power outage, a power surge or brownout can cause uh, catastrophic uh, damage to computers and equipment. But the more common ones really are the man-made issues. Um, viruses accidentally deleting data. You know, we see that one uh, all the time. Um, software can become corrupt too. Um, hardware can just be, uh, be damaged from lots of different ways. So lots of different ways of, uh, of having data loss out there that we need to really protect for. So our agenda, um, you know, we're going to talk about the causes of data loss. Um, we're going to discuss some backup medians and different methods. Um, like I mentioned at the start, a lot of you already have these solutions in place or have heard a lot about them. So we're going to talk a lot about um, your theories and strategies and things like that. Um, help you get educated so you, uh, you know more what you're having, know what's a better way to do it. Um, we'll briefly talk about the cost of data uh, loss and recovery. Um, help you actually figure out what downtime is actually uh, going to cost your agency. That way you can help weigh that towards uh, having a proper backup solution. Uh, we're going to talk about our recommended and new technologies. Um, go in a little bit about what is a successful backup versus a restorable backup. Uh, especially with folks with uh, backup exec, that can, be, uh, that can be the grand question of how do you know. And then uh, also help with some factors for uh, what to consider when choosing a new backup solution. So just clearing up some terms first, because uh, a lot of these terms we'll talk about um, quite a bit through this presentation, and you'll hear a lot um, at our other shows, and again, just um, all over the place when you're looking at backups. Um, business continuity, um, that's kind of an all-encompassing term, and that has to do with uh, disaster recovery um, and backups and restoration, um, and that's more of a, uh, you know, like a strategy, and that can then... Um, Again, cover those things we talked about, but not only data, but uh, your equipment, facilities, and so on. Um, disaster recovery uh, is, is pretty self-explanatory, um, you know, just how you recover from a disaster. Um, you know, the basic building block of both is really how you back up your data, and we'll talk about some of those different ways and methods in just a bit. Um, and all of these will really determine um, how your company is going to keep functioning after a data loss. 
So looking at the different backup mediums out there, um, we've got a, a great little graph here that shows, uh, you know, kind of the history of data backups and what's been used. Uh, as, as you can see, uh, you know, gone are the days of the punch cards, thank goodness. Um, but also note that tapes have been around for a long, long time, you know, since way before computers were really even computers. Uh, it's still a very commonly used technology today. As you can see, it's all the way up to, uh, to current times. Hard drives, ever since they've been out, have been used for backups too. Um, floppy disks, uh, we, we all know they're not really used anymore because they're so small. A new thing that's picking up are like, you know, CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays. Problem with those is, you know, they're, they're great and they're fast and they're cheap, but they're not real big. So nice little, uh, nice little uh, look here at what the backup mediums are out there. But what I really want to talk about is uh, disc versus tape, because those are going to be the two main technologies that uh, everybody's going to be using nowadays. So, you know, for a long time, obviously, as you can see here, a tape backup was, you know, really the only solution due to cost. Um, tape drives were still very expensive, but the tapes were always fairly cheap. Um, hard drives, as they've gotten bigger and bigger and cheaper and cheaper, are becoming a, you know, a lot more viable backup solution and a backup medium. Um, tape drives just as well, though, have come down in cost, so um, the, the costs are still pretty close. Again, yeah, it seems like hard drives are real cheap, and it, it's just better to back up on those. But hard drives do fail a lot more often than tapes do. Uh, it, it's a lot more volatile media. You know, you can drop a tape and not worry about it being uh, destroyed, but, you know, a hard drive just bumped a little bit um, could be totally unusable. That, and if you consider how many tapes you really use versus how many hard drives you would be buying, uh, you'd have to buy a lot of hard drives to cover as many backups as you would have on tape. Because you don't want all your backups on one hard drive. What happens if something happens to your one hard drive? So, you know, the, the price per gigabyte has come down uh, to where hard drives are uh, a lot more cost effective. But this is on a, uh, like a one-to-one -one comparison here. So, some of the questions are, you know, what are your uh, restore recovery objectives? Um, that's a big thing with uh, factoring in disk. Um, disk, again, pretty quick. Um, but the way data loss happens is it's usually half the time that you lose everything and you need to do a full restore. Half the time you lose just one or two little files. But most of the time with those one or two little files, it's not right away that you realize it. And that's where coming in with uh, disk-based backups that you need a lot of disks. So I want to get some backup terms out of the way first before we start uh, going much further. Um, there's lots of different uh, lots of different terms for different parts of the backups. You'll note on the right uh, you see full, differential, and incremental, and you know those are referring to